We are truly at the dawn of a new era, and all of this has created a perfect storm. Some of people will refer to it as the fourth industrial revolution. And we now live in a world where it is disrupt or be disrupted. And the opportunity to innovate has never been higher, and the barrier to disruption has actually never been lower because of these amazing technologies. And there is no question, and there should be no question, about the incredible opportunity and the incredible potential to improve the human condition with these technologies. The opportunity is limitless. On the other side of the coin, all of this innovation has created many, many questions. Will these changes be a positive force in society? Will technology cause displacement and further inequality? What is the future of work? I think it's something that is near and dear to everybody's heart. And will we live in a world of mankind or machine, or will it be mankind and machine? These are very, very real and difficult questions. It's my belief that technology can and will be a force for good. Not everybody thinks that way. I also believe this will be a story, again, of mankind and machine. It won't be about mankind or machine. And I believe that this will be an era where we improve the human condition uh, ex exponentially. But it's not going to be easy. And I think we all know that. I think it will require a great deal of leadership, and it will require giving back. And this means all of us here, we all have to step up, and we all have to play our part to ensure that the most positive outcome is for everybody and not just the few. It's our responsibility as citizens, and it's also our responsibility as alumni to support the university in its mission. And that's why this is so important. That's why tonight is so important. There is no academic institution that is more qualified and better positioned to lead the charge around the impact of technology on society than Carnegie Mellon, none. And there's no better college than Heinz to bring together the forces of people and policy and technology to affect change to make a difference. And that's what this gift, this research center is designed to do, to make a difference. It's designed to drive Heinz and Carnegie Mellon as a whole to even greater heights. And it's designed to help scholars and to pre prepare them to lead. It is designed to inspire the world. And as William Cooper said, it is about preparing men and women for intelligent action. So Suzanne and I are incredibly uh, honored and privileged to give, this, uh, give to this amazing institution that has affected so many people. It's a joy for us. And it's also an obligation. It's taking action in our own way. And this is very personal because everybody expresses themselves in a very different way. But it is something that we are both very, very passionate about. And our ask of all of you is to take action whatever action that is, but take action in your own way and do it in a great way. So again, it is our collective leadership that will make a difference in this story. It is our obligation to influence the chapters, whatever they may be that lie ahead of us and what our path will be together. And while the future is unwritten, as we all know, we can all be co-authors of a very, very bright future. It is all right here for all of us. So once again, on behalf of my better half, uh, we say thank you very much and we appreciate the kind uh, hospitality and words. Thank you so much.